start again because I can you know, do this. As we're doing that, we turn the head to one side. Uh, if it's a fight situation, uh, you turn your head to the threat. See how it's going to be coming. Um, you don't plant your face in the ground because uh, out here, uneven ground, in, in the gym, nice flat mat area, but outside, uneven ground, if you come down your face, smack your nose and break your nose, it's not very pretty. Uh, broken glass, broken bottles. So always try and keep your body high off the ground and apply like this. So once you can do that, the next part is to go into the bridge. This. And I form a bridge. My, my arms are, some people say break fall like this. I prefer like this. It gives you greater stability on my hands. And I'm up high. Okay? Not too high. High off the ground. So the only part that's contacting the, the ground is my forearms and my toes. And my head's turned to the threat. And if you can remember, also breathe out as you fall. Okay? So we go at that a couple of times. The next step is to go into a crouch. So you go into a crouch, and this is a scary bit for beginners, is to throw yourself forward and do a sort of a half break fall. All right, that's, just, that's the next part. So you're going to try that if you can. Nice. Good job, everybody. Excellent. Do it a couple of times. A couple of times. Nice. Good job, yeah, yeah. It's your fine. Fine. You don't and slip on the ground. Uh, as I said, you may not be able to do this uh, all of it today, just That's showing you the now. progression. All right, so your hands first, then the bridge, then the crouch. And once you're very confident with it, here, um, throw yourself in the air, come straight down. All right, don't do what I did and come up high, just, just even just here, just falling forward, and doing that is good enough. And then you can build up on that. So if you're up, to, up for that, give it a go. Nice. So you just breathe out, so you hit it on the side, hey? Yeah. Yeah. So the danger of landing in your stomach, Callum, is, uh, you know, your hips. Could be broken bottles, not like a, a gymnasium where it's nice and matted, nice and safe. All right, so that break fall is a front break fall. It's probably the least common one you're going to face in a sword fight, but I'll borrow yeah, my, my, my over here. Now, um, you know, you'll do the armbar on me? Yep. Okay, so the armbar, we do a lot here. So armbar, I do a modified front brake fall here. So I use one hand, I turn and face him. All right, so that's how I do it. So that's the application from unarmed combat, is to do this. All right, you can do this. I want to turn and face him, because then if I'm lucky, I might be able to get him next as well. Or something. I'm in trouble. Yeah, Actually, okay. my balance is broken. The broken balance this way. Now, I escape the arm bar by just turning. All right, now I can threaten. Now we're into a ground fight. He's still got the advantage over me because he's going to be top of me, but I've got a chance. All right, so thanks, too. Uh, so have a go at that one. Just try the arm bar, and that'll help you come down. All right. Okay? All right. This technique here, he takes me down. I do my brake pull, and I want to now take him down myself. So I'll escape, and I'll go for this structural point here, or depending where he is. But most people who be forward and go for here and gun around here, start taking him down, all right? So just uh, learn to place your hand just above the knee and a little push just to start breaking their structure. This will lead to the next break fall. Okay? Have a go, thank you.